Alright, hello. This is going to be a t tutorial on how to set up your um, templates for Civil 3D 2013. Um, I have my uh, Civil 3D already launched and running. It's really simple. I guess you guys already know how to do that. But mine automatically pulls up the proper template. And you can see here, if I click on this first one, that it shows this nice layout. Um, a couple of nice features of our template is that we have a dynamic scale bar. You can change the scale on the fly really quickly like that. It's really nice. You have to change it though. It's not going to automatically pick what's ever in that viewport. Uh, the date is a field, so that's automatically going to populate. I've left this date um, as it is because that's the approval date, and that may change. And then the drawing this, uh, shows uh, where it's saved. So when you go into here, you type preferences, automatically populates, go to files, go to template settings, and pretty much expand all these. We're going to be modifying where you have this saved. Um, we're going to be using a DWT file. DWT file is your um, template file for uh, Civil 3D. So when you open up a DWT file, it converts it on the fly to a DWG file. So it's really hard to edit that template unless you go in there and manually do so. And, and it's a conscious decision. The, and that's a pro because you don't want to accidentally overwrite your DWT file with, you know, let's say a figure one from St. Anthony's or something. So change this location to either the U drive or the Denver, uh, the Boulder or Denver drive. It's real simple. You just click on this and hit browse and browse to where it should be saved. Um, it should be the first line on that server um, and go down to CAD drafting files, Civil 3D, C3D, DWT files, OK, and then set that up for the first two. Those first two are folders. These next, This next one is um, for whenever you hit new, which is this little button right here. It's going to uh, populate with whichever one it's set up here. And mine's set up for, um, obviously, you can see uh, the Walsh Imperial template. So browse. And again, it goes to the right place because I have it already set up. And just uh, click on this one. You'll see that we have three different kinds of templates, and that's because through the years we've updated our templates and made them a little bit more sophisticated. But also they change. So when you, um, if we were to move up to 2014, we're going to need to modify these templates. And generally, I do that for the company, so it's nothing that you need to worry about. But it will change, and it will need to be updated. When you get, when you do have 2014, there should be Civil 3D. Or it should look exactly like this, except. 2014 and then you'll just remap it so it's not a big deal um, and then you just say open okay and your template should be set up a couple other things I want to point out since I've got the time uh, go to drafting I'm sorry 3d modeling make sure all this is unchecked that takes up a lot of RAM you don't want that it's not really that useful also display. If you're dealing generally with only two services, make sure all this is cut off and turned off. Um, otherwise, it's gonna, it just again eats up RAM and it just sits there and tries to think and tries to give you tooltips. Um, it can be helpful if you're just learning Civil 3D to have all this on, but just know it's going to slow down your machine some. If you're dealing with more than three services, I like to have this one on because a lot of times I like to hover over my surfaces and look at all three. Usually it'll populate up to two unless you have this clicked on and then it'll populate up to three. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there's some other things in here and you can customize the way that your um, your look and feel is here, um, but uh, it's, it's pretty easy and so uh, I recommend going in there and there's some shortcuts with your right click and all kinds of fun stuff. Alright, thank you.